Hi everyone, welcome to this GCSE Higher Revision video. It's 68 days to go into your GCSE Maths exam and today we're going to be focusing on the topic of simultaneous equations. I really like this topic, I, I just I just really like simultaneous equations, I hope you do too. Um, if you got the Court Maths Revision card, card number 73 is the Court Maths Revision card in simultaneous equations, then it'll be really useful for you if you're revising for simultaneous equations. But in this video I'm going to go through how to do some simultaneous equation questions and I'm also going to go through a wordy question as well at the end. Um, at times I'm going to give you a chance to try the questions yourself, so feel free to press pause and to try the questions out. So let's get started. Okay, so today's topic is simultaneous equations. So in this question, we've been asked to solve the simultaneous equations 3x plus 2y is equal to 23, and 2x minus y is equal to 6. Now I'm going to go through this question and show you how it's done, and then there's one for you to try. But if you like simultaneous equations and you feel comfortable with it, feel free to try this question yourself. Okay, so if I was asked to solve simultaneous equations like this, what I would look to do is to try and cancel out one of the letters or one of the variables. So we've got our x's and our y's. And if we have a look here, we've got two y's here, and we've got minus y here. Now if we double this bottom equation, let's number them 1, equation 1, and equation 2. If we multiply equation 2 by 2, we would get minus 2y. And 2y plus minus 2y, or minus 2y plus 2y, gives us 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double this bottom equation to begin with. So I'm going to multiply equation 2 by 2. So I'm going to do equation 2 multiplied by 2. So I'm going to double this equation. So if I double this equation, multiply everything by 2, 2x times 2 is equal to 4x. And then we've got minus y, we're going to multiply by 2, so that be minus 2y. And then we've got our 6, whenever we multiply that by 2, we get 12. So doubling this bottom equation gives us 4x minus 2y equals 12. Okay, so we've got this equation, which has got minus 2y, but if we have a look at our top equation, equation 1, it's got 2y, and minus 2y plus 2y is equal to 0. So that means that our y's will cancel out, we'll eliminate them. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to write equation 1 beneath it again, so I'm going to write 3x plus 2y is equal to 23. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two equations together, because if we add these two equations together, the y's will cancel out. So let's add them, and I write the word add rather than a plus or minus sign here. So I'm going to write add, and I'm going to add these two equations together. So let's add these two equations. 4x plus 3x is equal to 7x, that's great. Minus 2y plus 2y, that's equal to 0, so they cancel out. And then we've got that's equal to, and 12 plus 23 is equal to 35. So we've got the 7x is equal to 35. So that's fantastic, because we've got 7x equal to 35, we can now divide both sides of this equation by 7, so divide by 7, and divide by 7, 1x, or just x, so x, is equal to, and 35 divided by 7 is equal to 5. So we now know that x is equal to 5, so that's fantastic, we'll find out what x is. Now we know that what x is, we can substitute that into either equation 1 or equation 2, and we can find out our y. And I'm going to substitute it into equation 1, so I'm going to substitute, and I'm going to go up here, I'm going to say sub x equals 5 into 1. So we're going to substitute x equals 5 into this equation up here, this equation number 1. So x is equal to 5, so we've got 3x, so 3 times 5 is equal to 15, so we've got 15, plus, and then we've got our 2y, is equal to 23. So now we've got an equation with just y's and numbers, we can solve this and find out what y is. So we want to get the y on its own, so let's get rid of this 15, so let's take away 15 from the left hand side, and take away 15 from the right hand side. 15 take away 15 is 0, and we've still got our 2y, so we've got 2y on the left hand side. And on the right hand side we have 23 take away 15, that's equal to 8. So we've got the 2y is equal to 8, well we don't want 2y, we just want y, so let's divide by 2, and divide by 2, and we get the y is equal to 4. And that's it, so we've got the x is equal to 5, and y is equal to 4. And that's fantastic because we've now got that x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 4. And that's our answer is that x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 4. Now, whenever I'm doing simultaneous equations, what I like to do is I like to check my answer. I like to make sure that I'm definitely, definitely right. So because we've got x equals 5 and y equals 4, what we're going to do is we haven't used this equation 2 yet to substitute anything into. So if we substitute x equals 5 and y is equal 4 into this equation number 2, we can check our answer. So let's check in 2. So 2, we've got 2x, well 2 times 5 is equal to 10, and then we've got take away y, so that's take away 4, and that should be equal to 6. And 10 take away 4 is 6, so we get 6 equals 6, and that's it, so we know that we're right. So that's it, we've solved these simultaneous equations, and we've got the x equals 5, and y is equal to 4, and that's it. Okay, so let's have a look at another simultaneous equations question. Now feel free to pause the video to try this one now yourself if you want to. Okay, so we've got 5x minus 3y is equal to 33, and we've got 3x minus 9y is equal to 63. And we want to solve these simultaneous equations, so I'm going to number them 1 
and 2. And we're going to try to cancel one of the letters. So here we've got 5x and 3x. We could multiply the top equation by 3 and the bottom equation by 5 and get 15x and 15x. I'm actually just going to multiply the top equation by 3 because that would give me minus 9y and then we'd have minus 9y. And if we've got minus 9y and minus 9y, we can subtract them from each other to get 0. And I'll talk about that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top equation by 3. So I'm going to do equation 1 multiplied by 3. And if I do equation 1 multiplied by 3, 5x multiplied by 3 is 15x. We've then got minus 3y, we're going to times that by 3, that's going to be minus 9y. And we have 33, we're going to multiply that by 3, that'll be 99. So we've multiplied equation 1 by 3, and now we've got equation 2, which also has minus 9y, so that's fantastic, I'm just going to write that beneath it. So 3x minus 9y is equal to 63. So we've got two equations with the same numbers of y, they've both got minus 9y. Now if you've got minus 9y, and you minus minus 9y, well minus 9y minus minus 9y would be minus 9y plus 9y, which is 0. So if you've got the same number of a letter, for instance 9y and 9y, or 2y and 2y, or minus 3y and minus 3y, you can just subtract the two equations from each other and they will cancel out. So let's subtract those two equations from each other. So 15x take away 3x, that's going to be 12x. Minus 9y subtract minus 9y, well it's going to be minus 9y plus 9y, which is 0, so they cancel out. And then we've got 99, take away 63, and that's equal to 36. So we've got the 12 times x is equal to 36. Now if we divide both sides by 12, divide by 12, and divide by 12, we're going to get that x is equal to 36 divided by 12 is 3. So x is equal to 3. Now we're going to substitute that into one of our equations, and I'm going to choose the top one here. So sub x equals 3 into equation 1. So 5 times x, 5 times 3, that's going to be 15. Subtract 3y is equal to 33. Just substituting here the value of 3 in, 5 times 3 is 15. So we want to solve this equation to find out what y is. Now we've got minus 3y. I'm actually going to add 3y to both sides to begin with. So add 3y and add 3y. So the left-hand side, I added 3y to get rid of the minus 3y. So I'm just going to be left with 15. And on the right-hand side, I've got 33 and I'm adding 3y. And I just added 3y's to both sides just so that my 3y's were positive. That's going to help me out later. Now here we've got 15 equals 33 plus 3y. I'm going to take 33 away from both sides. So take away 33 and take away 33. 15 take away 33 would be equal to minus 18 and that's equal to on the right hand side I'll just be left with my 3y. Now finally I don't want 3y I just want y so I'm going to divide by 3 and divide by 3. Minus 18 divided by 3 would be minus 6 and on the right hand side I have 3y divided by 3 that's just going to be y. So it means that y is equal to negative 6. And that's it we've got our solutions that x equals 3 and y equals minus 6. And that's our answer. So let's check in equation 2. 3x 3 times 3 is equal to 9. Subtract 9y. Well, 9 times minus 6 would be minus 54, so subtract minus 54, and that should be equal to 63. Now, 9 minus minus 54, that would be 9 plus 54, which is 63, so we get 63 equals 63, so that's it. Fantastic. So that means that we're right, that x equals 3 and y equals minus 6. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So our next question says, solve the simultaneous equations 5x plus 3y equals 22, and 2x plus 4y equals 20. So here I'm going to number the equations 1 and 2. Now this time, rather than just being able to multiply one of the equations by one number, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both equation 1 and equation 2 by numbers. So we could multiply equation 1 by 2 and equation 2 by 5, that'll give us 10x and 10x. Or I can multiply equation 1 by 4 and equation 2 by 3 to give us 12y and 12y. And that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply the top equation by 4 and I'm going to multiply the second equation by 3. So I'm going to do 1 multiplied by 4. So multiplying this whole equation 1 by 4 would give us, so 5x times 4 would be 20x. 3y times 4 would be plus 12y, and then 22 times 4 would be 88. So that's what we get when we multiply the top equation by 4. Now let's multiply the second equation by 3, and that will give us 12y as well. So that will be 3 times 2x would be 6x, 4y times 3 would be plus 12y, and 20 times 3 would be 60. Now this is fantastic because both equations have got 12y and 12y. So we can just subtract these two equations from each other, and the y's will cancel. So let's do that. 20x take away 6x is 14x, 12y take away 12y, that's 0, and 88 subtract 60 would be 28. So we've got 14x equals 28, we could divide by 14, and divide by 14, and we get that x is equal to 2. So that's fantastic, we've got x is equal to 2. Now let's find our y, so let's substitute that into one of our equations, and I'm going to choose the top one here, so let's sub x equals 2 into equation 1. So substituting x equals 2 into here, we're going to do 5 times 2, so that's going to be 10 plus, and then we've got 3y, and that is equal to 22. 
So now we can solve this equation. We can take away 10 and take away 10, and that will give us 3y equals 12, and then divide by 3 and divide by 3, and you get y is equal to 4. So we've got the x equals 2 and y equals 4. And that's it. That's our solution. And we can check that. Let's check in 2. So let's check in 2. So 2x, that's going to be 2 times 2, which is 4, plus 4y, 4 times 4 is 16, and that should equal 16, and that should be equal to 20. 4 plus 16 is 20, so you get 20 equals 20. And that's it. So we've solved those simultaneous equations. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. This is one for you to try, so feel free to press pause and try the simultaneous equations question now. Okay, so if I wanted to solve this question, I would call the first equation 1 and the equation 2. Now let's have a look at our letters. We've got 2x and 5x. So you could multiply the top equation by 5 and the bottom equation by 2, and you'd get 10x and 10x, and that would be fantastic. Alternatively, we could multiply the top equation by 3 to get 6y, and the bottom equation by 2 to get minus 6y, and minus 6y plus 6y would be 0. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get 6y and minus 6y. So I'm going to do the first equation 1, multiply by 3. So multiplying everything by 3 here. 2x times 3 would be 6x. 2y times 3 would be 6y, and then 14 times 3 would be equal to 42. So that's what we get when we multiply equation 1 by 3. Now let's look at equation 2, and we're going to double it here. So we're going to double this equation so that we get minus 6y. So we're going to do equation 2 multiplied by 2. So doubling everything here would be 10x minus 6y equals 38. So we've got an equation with 6y, an equation with minus 6y. So if we add them together, they'll cancel out. So let's add those two equations. 6x plus 10x would be 16x. Minus 6y plus 6y is 0, so they cancel out. And then we've got 42 plus 38, that's equal to 80. So we've got 16x equals 80. We can then divide by 16 and divide by 16, and we get that x is equal to 5. So fantastic, we've got x is equal to 5. Now we can switch that into either equation 1 or equation 2 to find out our value for y. So let's sub x equals 5 into equation 1. So equation 1 was 2x, 2 times 5 is 10, so we get 10 plus 2y equals 14. Now, if we take away 10 from both sides, we get take away 10 and take away 10. We get that 2y equals 4, divide by 2, and divide by 2, and we get that y is equal to 2. So it means that x equals 5 and y equals 2. And that's it. That's our answer. And we can check it. Let's check in equation 2. 25 take away 6 is 19 equals 19. And that's right. So we're right. And that's it. Okay, now let's have a look at a wordy question. So we've got five adult tickets and three child tickets cost £98.50. Two adult tickets and eight child tickets cost £70. Find the costs of each ticket type. Feel free now to pause the video and to try this question now yourself. Okay, so if I was doing this question now myself, I would say, well, I'd make two equations to begin with. So we've got five adult tickets and three child tickets. So five adult tickets plus three child tickets is equal to £98.50. That's my first equation. And two adult tickets plus eight child tickets is equal to £70. So we've got our simultaneous equations. Now we just need to solve them. So I've numbered them, equation one and equation two. So I've called this equation one and this equation two. Now you could cancel out the A's or the C's. It's up to you. So you could double the top equation and then multiply the bottom equation by five. And that give you 10A and 10A. Or you can multiply the top equation by eight and then the bottom equation by three. And that would give you 24C and 24C. Now, because of all the questions so far have been focusing on the Y's or with the C's and so on, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cancel the A's this time just to do it slightly differently. But if you do multiply the top equation by 8 and the bottom equation by 3, you could get 24C and 24C, and you could just take those two equations away from each other, and you should get the same answers as well. But I'm going to cancel the A's in this one just to show you that you can cancel what's in the front here as well. So I'm going to do equation 1 multiplied by 2 to get 10A. So let's multiply this whole equation by 2. So it'll give us 10A plus 6C is equal to 197 pound. So there we've got 10a plus 6c is equal to 197. Now if we take the second equation, equation 2, and we multiply it by 5, we can then find 10a as well. So we then if we multiply everything by 5 here, we're going to get 2a times 5, that's going to be 10a. And then we've got 8c multiplied by 5, that's going to be 40c. And then we've got 70 multiplied by 5, that's going to be equal to 350. So we've multiplied the top equation by 2, and we've multiplied the second equation by 5, and that's given us 10a and 10a. Now, we're going to take these two equations away from each other to cancel out the a's. Now, I could do it this way, but the only thing about doing it this way is whenever I take them away, I'm going to find the a's cancel. I then have 6c take away 40c. That's going to be minus 34c. That's fine. But what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to write the second equation beneath the other one 
just so that whenever I take away, it actually gives me some numbers that are all positive, and then that just makes it a wee bit easier for me. But you could do it the other way and just change the signs. It's up to you. So I'm going to subtract. So I'm going to subtract these two equations from each other. 10a take away 10a is 0. 40c take away 6c is going to be 34c. And 350, 350 take away 197 is equal to 153. So we've got the 34c is equal to 153. Now we don't want 34 child tickets, we just want 1, the price of 1 of them. So we're going to divide by 34 and divide by 34. And that'll give us on the left hand side, c, the price of a child ticket, 1 child ticket. And 153 divided by 34 is equal to 4.5 or £4.50. So the price of a child ticket is £4.50, and I'll write that out in a moment, but I'm just going to keep it as c is equal to 4.5 for the minute, just as I'm doing this question. Now to find the price of an adult ticket, we need to substitute that into one of our two equations. And I'm going to substitute c is equal to 4.5 into equation 1. So 5a, well 5a, we don't know that yet, plus 3c. Well 3 multiplied by 4.5 is equal to 13.5, and that is equal to £98.50. So now we just need to solve this equation to find a. So we're just going to take away 13.5 from both sides. So take away 13.5 and take away 13.5. So on the left-hand side, we've got 5a. And on the right-hand side, we'd have 98.50. Take away 13.50 is equal to 85. So we've got 5a is equal to 85. So we're going to divide by 5 and divide by 5. And we get that a is equal to 17. So the price of an adult ticket, an adult ticket would be equal to 17 pound. And a child ticket is equal to £4.50. And that's it. So the price of an adult ticket is £17 and the price of a child ticket is £4.50. And you can check that. You could go back up here and it, we were told the price of two adult tickets, so that's going to be £34. And eight child tickets, well, eight times £4.50 is equal to 36 and 34 pound plus 36 pounds equal to 70 pounds so we've got it right and that's it and that's it so in this video we've looked at simultaneous equations it's quite a useful topic because you might be given a simultaneous equations question on its own but it might be it's like hidden within another question it could be that you've got a circle theorem question and you've got the opposite angles in terms of x and y's and then you know they had to give it to be 180 and so on so it could be that you get simultaneous equations hidden within other questions so I highly recommend the practice questions today. In the description below, I've got a link to the practice questions on simultaneous equations, so give them a shot. Also, later on, we're going to be looking at nonlinear simultaneous equations. So if you're pushing for those top grades, particularly grade 8 or 9, those A stars and so on, make sure that you have a look at those nonlinear simultaneous equations as well. But in this video, we're looking at simultaneous equations. I really, really hope you find it useful. If you have found it useful, please like it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, with these videos, if you know anyone else might have found them useful, like a friend or a relative or even your teacher, feel free to share these videos with them because not only might it help them, but it might get me a few more views as well. But thanks very much for watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow at 3 o'clock on YouTube for the next one. Also, remember on the website, I think if you go to the GCSE revision, there's 100 days there, and you can listen to see all the 100 days videos there as well. But thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.